first. Uh, what does it mean to be inducted into the NCGA Hall of Fame, uh, Reese? Well, it's quite an honor because the Northern California Golf Association is perhaps the most active and most beneficial to its members of all the associations. They have three golf courses uh, that allow the public player to play and your members to play, 150,000 members. Uh, it's quite an organization and it's a real thrill because to be inducted with my brother and my father at the same time, it's never done, been done before. Yeah. And you, Bob? Well, I agree with Reese that this is a great honor for our family and, and uh, we were fortunate to grow up in a great golf family and have spent a lot of time here on this peninsula and to be part of the Northern California Golf Association so, uh, since I moved out from the Metropolitan Golf Association where Reese is a member is a great uh, thrill for me personally and I'm happy for Reese and happy for my dad who's up in the sky being proud of us. And uh, let's talk about the golf courses that you're associated with. Uh, Bob, we'll start with you. We're standing on Poppy Hills. Uh, tell the members one thing they might not know about Poppy Hills. <laughs> Well, Poppy Hills is a work in progress. We keep redoing it, as you know, and I think the most important thing is that we were able to cut out 25% of the turf and therefore the water consumption in a time of drought. However, it's a firm, fast, and running course, which they know, but most importantly, I think you have to think your way through this course and uh, play each shot as it comes. And Reese Poppy Ridge. <clears throat> well, uh, Poppy Ridge was a very rugged site. It, it still is, um, and I think, uh, Rugged sites produce spectacular golf courses, spectacular golf holes, and I think uh, I was there yesterday, and I think 27 holes, even though the elevation change is dramatic, all fit the terrain well, and um, I was, it's, it's very successful for the young players, for the older players, and it has quite a following. And uh, last question on, on Spyglass Hill, uh, just, if you could just talk about your father's work there. I'll start with you, Bob. And well, there's a famous picture of Reese, me, and my dad when he just opened Spyglass Hill about 1966, if I recall correctly. Um, I remember working with him as, a, as his apprentice. He did all the creative work, but I carried his suitcase or his uh, sketchboard, sketch pad. And uh, I think that was one of his gr greatest achievements. Not only that, he was deeply passionately involved. He wanted to create something extraordinarily beautiful and challenging in this forest, and he got the chance to do it, and it's lasted the test of time. Well, I was at Berkeley uh, studying landscape architecture when my father was doing this course, and I would come and visit while I was there. Um, and uh, he was so thrilled to have a chance to, to do a project on the Monterey Peninsula. And uh, Samuel Morse wanted him to build another championship golf course, and he accomplished that. Um, and it really works with the land perfectly because he had to, because he didn't have the budgets we have today. He built the whole thing for $750,000. And uh, to work in those dunes, especially those first few holes, uh, was a dream come true for him. Gentlemen, congratulations.